Hello friends. Today I'm making very easy watercolor. A landscape. So for that I'm starting with the drawing. So it's a very basic hut. And it's ground and these are the effect of the trees so there is no need for extra drawing so first i will start with the very light tones i'm using ordinary calligraphy brush So starting with the cobalt blue and adding very less any red color. You can use any red. I am using Bahong paper. It's easily available in the market. If you don't have that paper, you can use any 100% cotton paper. So if you really want to learn, you must follow this video. So I will try to explain each and every details. Now I am using again red. It's, I think, rose matter and it's cobalt blue. So, I am not using any particular brand of the colors. They are mixed. My paper is tilted. That's why it's coming down. Now using sap green and little bit Cambodge. You can use any yellow, bright yellow, lemon yellow, golden yellow, deep yellow. It's your wish. Maybe my screen is showing something else and your screen is showing another colors. So just follow the contrast of the colors, not the same colors. using only one brush when you are doing watercolor you must follow one thing you should start with the lighter colors and colors should be transparent I'm going to start with the trees. For that, I'm using sap green, little bit blue, little bit romber. It's maybe raw sienna or. Now 
this area is dry, completely dry, and these this area is little bit wet. You can feel the effect. So I am using freedom of colors. So watercolor is a game of freedom. You must enjoy the freedom. Now adding little bit darker shades. Make it more realistic. Now I think we have to change a brush. So now I'm using smaller brush. So it's ordinary brush, maybe two or three number. So now I'm using burnt sienna with little bit black. and very less blue okay now you can feel that depth so hot so we will add details after make it dry so for that i'm using dryer it's dry so we can add details now you can see the detail of hot it's coming out very clearly so this is the fo focused area it's focal point adding little bit texture on the roof now it's, i'm going to distort it with the water only now adding little bit shades on the white area because there is no you can't see the white exactly so that should be a little bit dull so i made it little bit dull so after this i'm going to use another brush to add more details for that i'm using mop brush and now using with the blue and 
crimson for adding depth in the trees using darker colors little bit thicker not too much thick by adding some dry strokes. Just adding the texture on the grass, random plants I'm showing in front of the house, in front of the hut. Now again using smaller brush and adding darker tones everywhere adding little bit black So, adding one more thing, my mark, uh, signature tree. So that is dry tree. You can see almost in every painting, it's my signature tree. I think there is no need for any else and then any other details. My English is little bit okay type, but I think you can understand what I am saying. So we are very near to the Final touches. Okay, now you can try this. If you really like this, 
then you can practice to learn. So I will come again with the another composition. So thank you so much. God bless you. Bye-bye.